Meet Janet. She'll be helping us demonstrate what bones we use for everyday things because clearly she is qualified. Let's begin with going over the names of the bones. Ready, Janet? Okay. This is the cranium. It protects the head, save from any falling object. This is the collarbone. It supports the arms and helps them move if you want to catch something. This is the scapula, or shoulder blade. It attaches the upper arm to the trunk of the body, so you're able to throw things. This is the humerus. The top of the humerus connects to the scapula to make the ball and socket. It also supports the arm so you can do activities such as riding. This is the radius. This is the ulna. The radius is a shorter bone and is on the thumb side. The ulna is, on, is the longer bone and is on the outer side. This is the sternum. It protects some inner organs such as the lungs and heart. This is the vertebrae. It's basically your spine and it allows you to bend over. This is the pelvis. It supports the vertebrae along with the upper body, especially in movement. This is the femur. It is the only bone in the thigh and it helps raise the leg. This is the patella, or the kneecap. It helps extend the leg. This is the tibia. This is the fibula. The tibia is the shin, and with the help of the fibula, you can walk. Now, let's talk about tendons and ligaments real quick. A ligament connects bone to bones. Tendon connects muscle to bone. Now let's watch Janet using her bones to get ready in the morning.